the late great Dennis Diderot. Diderot was born and raised in the wonderful city of Les Grays, France. Diderot was the son of a well-respected master colder, and he was tonsured at the age of 13 by the Jesuits. From 1729 to 1732, Diderot studied at the College of Headcourt. From there, Diderot transferred to the University of Paris, earning his master's degree in the arts. After graduating from the University of Paris, he went on to study law as an article clerk in the office of Clement of Rios. Diderot would go on to secretly marry Antoine Champion, daughter of a Halitan grapper. They would have three children, but one would ultimately survive, their daughter Ang Angelina. Diderot would go on throughout his life having many affairs, but mostly known with Sophia Ballard. It was an affair based on their intellectual companionship. Find his true passion until he met John Jack Rousseau at a coffee house. After finding his passion, he would go on to publish many books, like, like for example, The Letter of the Blind, The Elements of Psychology, the, the Essay on Crimes and Punishment, and the Encyclopedia, his most famous book of them all. Hero was the co author of the Encyclopedia with John de Robia de Albert. Encyclopedia at first was supposed to be a French translation of the English Cyclopedia. The Encyclopedia would turn out to be much more. Diderot added his own twist on it, broadening the idea and turning it into an important origin of the revolutionary opinion. Encyclopedia was a rational dictionary that brought out the essential principles and applications of every science and arts. Later on in his life, Diderot was in financial debt and had to sell his library, his one true love, but Catherine the Great bought out his library. It ultimately put him at the helm, making him the librarian. He even very acceptably paid him 25 years in advance. To return the favor, Diderot would go to Russia and meet with Catherine and help her establish a Russian university. He would eventually stay in Russia for five months. the principal editor of the Encyclopédie, described his project as a universal and analytical dictionary of human knowledge. And this idea or ideal of the Encyclopédie as encompassing all human knowledge is not new. There are several precedents. What is innovative about Diderot's Encyclopédie is his contention that the mechanical arts were a category of universal knowledge just as valuable as the liberal arts and the sciences. And in making this claim, he's very provocatively challenging long-standing um, biases against manual labor. In, in this environment in the 18th century, physical labor is conceived of as brutish or unreflective and, and unintelligent. And by contrast, the sciences and the liberal arts involve intelligence and they're, they are therefore ennobling and uplifting. And Diderot sets out to really challenge the bias against working with one's hands by showing the complexity and the creativity and skill of even the most humble mechanical arts and in so doing raise their status in the eyes of contemporaries by showing the role of the mind as well as the hand in the mechanical arts. And, and this of course calls to mind MIT's motto of mens et manus mind and hand.
Thank mm-hmm. you.